Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, just letting you know that this video contains scenes that may not be suitable for people who suffer from epilepsy. Keep this in mind as you watch this video. And now, on with the conspiracies! Welcome back folks to Let's Replay Deus Ex! And when last we left off, we've spoken to quite a few people here in the headquarters of the Illuminati. We've spoken to Alex Jacobson, Lucius De Beers, Morpheus, and finally Morgan Everett, the leader of the group. He's given us our next objective. We're on our way to Vandenberg to help out Gary Savage and the people of X-51 get their Universal Constructor up and working. Once they've done that, Morgan Everett will be able to use it to synthesize a vaccine for the Great Earth, and he needs to do that quickly to prevent a possible epidemic. That's the last thing we want. Before we go to Vandenberg, however, we need to explore this place thoroughly, as we're never coming back here ever again. So first things first, let's raid this lab, starting with this multi-tool that we're not going to be spending four lockpicks to get. We have our own lockpick, and it's very versatile. Multi-tool get. If you want a weapon mod laser or accuracy, you can get those too, but we don't need them. What we do want, though, is this Augmentation Upgrade Canister. We're going to be taking this for sure, and using it on an Org that I'm definitely going to have a use for pretty soon. Environmental Resistance. Upgrading this increases the Toxic Resistance when it's active from moderate to significant. I'm sure Morgan doesn't mind that we take this. And even if he did, he's not going to stop us. So let's check out these while we're here. We don't need them, but it's nice to know that if we needed EMP shield or ballistic protection, it's here for us. And if we needed this one, which is vision enhancement or targeting, that's here for us too. And look at that there. It almost was close enough that they balanced on top of each other, but instead we just have one that's a little bit wobbly. Imagine those nanites are the only thing that's keeping that up. Oh, nanomachines, how versatile you are. Let's also remember to take the scramble grenade with us. That could be quite useful. Let's also open up the aquarium. The aquarium is a place where you can get some skill points as well as a few goodies that we saw as we passed. I also want to show off the aqua lung augmentation that I have. It's really useful and also show off how fast we can swim now that we have expert swimming. It's almost like we're a completely different person swimming around with this uh, skill upgraded as it is. Here are some darts, and a rebreather, and look at how slowly the O2 is draining with this augmentation active, and it really doesn't consume that much bioelectric energy. It's really useful at points. Not necessarily here, because there's not much to grab but there will come a time for it. Let's leave this as it was when we arrived, as opposed to the bathroom, which is now an absolute mess. Well, thanks for the swim, Morgan. I'm off now. I'll see you later. I imagine Morgan is reconsidering if it was a wise idea to have us meet, but it's too late. You can't undo what has been done. He doesn't want to speak to me anymore. That's understandable. Let's go see just how much bioelectric energy using Aqualung for all that time cost us. I imagine not a lot at all. Don't mind me, cat. I've got places to be. Like over here. Hello, Repairbot. We only used 5% bioenergy. That's really impressive. Now, there's one more thing we can deal with while we're here, and that is Lucius De Beers. We can completely avoid Lucius if we don't talk to people and aren't observant of all the things that we can read. But we've spoken to him, and we've spoken to Morgan, and we know that Morgan Everett does not intend to ever revive Lucius De Beers. There are three ways to solve this. The first way is to not resolve this and just leave. The second way is to be honest with Lucius and tell him of the deception. And then there's the third way. Where is he? I will remember these small injustices. When I am revived, I will remember. That you will. But you're never going to be revived, Lucius. Everett will be here as soon as he can. It's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. And it will remain cold forever, as you will stay in there until the 
illness that's ravaging your body eventually claims you. This terminal here can be used to turn off the machine that's keeping Lucius alive, and if you tell him of the deception, Lucius will demand of you that you do this. But I'm not going to do that. You probably could do this without even speaking to Lucius, and I wonder what kind of reaction you get from Morgan if you do do that. If you do end up uh, ending Lucius's life after telling him the truth, Morgan will chastise you because Lucius was his friend, and he'll leave it at that. Have fun with the rest of your life, Lucius! They really should put a screen here or something so you can watch stuff. But maybe Morgan's concerned that you'll consume too much energy doing so. So long! We'll never speak to him ever again. Unlike many of the other people we encounter, he isn't able to get into our info link. We're gonna use the key that we were given by Morgan to open this up, forcing you to speak with him so that you can continue the plot, because this way leads to the helipad. And to another decision that we have to make. Just got refueled. I'm waiting for you. That you have, Jock! Now, if you didn't spot it on the cameras, it really is very difficult to not notice the dead mechanic here, which will then lead you to look at this mechanic with great suspicion. He surely should have noticed this body, and yet hasn't told anyone about it. Let's find out why. Huh? Is there a problem? Just looking around. I, I checked her out. She's fueled up and ready to go. Is something wrong? Huh? No, I said I checked her out. You want the thing to run, right? If you're gonna cross the ocean. Of course. Better safe than sorry. Hmm. Very suspicious indeed. He seems very nervous. And he is now described as an odd mechanic. I fixed her right up for you. Did you now? Something wrong? Maybe. I think your friend's ready to go. That he is. You're a bit too ready to let us go. I got a pretty cush job, huh? That you do, and I wonder how you got it. It's pretty obvious that this mechanic is not meant to be here. Also, there are goodies here that we can get. Ooh, a lamb. That makes up for the one that we used to get to Lucius De Beers. There are two ways that you can resolve this. You can either go back to Morgan and ask him about the mechanic, whereupon it will be very apparent that this person is not meant to be here, or you can take matters into your own hands and just kill him yourself. Or knock him out. Both lead to the same result. But you know what? You may be described as an odd mechanic, that person may be dead, and everything may scream suspicious, but I trust you. If you said you fueled her up and she's ready to go, you fueled her up and she's ready to go. There's no reason to doubt, is there? Okay, there are plenty of reasons to doubt, but JC is not going to doubt you. Of all the people that he doesn't trust, you are not one of them. He did a good job. Let's go talk to Jock, shall we? I talked to Savage. Sounds like Vandenberg may be in some trouble. Get in. As before, you have the choice to hang around and do other things. Like if you wanted to check out that odd mechanic, but we've done all we need to. Let's go. We've got to get to Vandenberg as soon as possible, after all. Let's go. I'm sure I've made the right decision. This isn't going to bite us in the future. I'm sure. Maybe. So long, Paris. The snipers heard your helicopter and took off. You guys saved my life. Glad you're all right. Why is Majestic 12 attacking? You with the NSF? We have a common enemy, if that's what you mean. MJ-12 is short a UC. They lost the one in Hong Kong, and now something has happened at the Pasadena Ocean Lab. Are the Vandenberg Labs safe? The base is locked down until we can destroy the enemy bots. Unfortunately, MJ-12 disabled our own bot defense system, and no one has been able to activate the backup power. I could give it a shot. Where are the controls? There are two separate units at the west end of the base. It won't be easy. MJ-12 has hacked the security grid and taken control of nearly all of our defenses. Turrets, cameras, alarms, and they have snipers everywhere. Easier than a straight fight with military bots. I suppose you're right. I can give you a map. One of the units is in the main complex. The other one is in an exposed location. The activation code is 5868. 
That's a lot of very important information there. Thanks for it. I imagine that JC took out these two people as Jock was flying over. It makes sense. Got anything more to say, Carla? One of the control units is outside to the southwest. The other one's in the transformer room. Good to know. One inside, one out. Be careful. I will be. Don't worry. Without the Ocean Lab, Bob Page will have to rebuild the UC at Area 51. There's a UC at Area 51, eh? And I'm surprised I can hear anything you're saying, considering how windy it is. By the way, is it dawn or dusk? We'll never know. We see for the large pieces of machinery when we walked out last year. That would have caused a lot of damage. Page probably needs reaction level components. When we walked, we took everything smaller than a paperclip. And everything larger than a paperclip too, though you're not going to tell me about that. We're still not sure what happened at the Ocean Lab. It's the first we're hearing about it. I'm staying right here. Sensible plan. It's quite safe here. For the moment, anyway. We knew about the Grey Death a year ago, but no one would believe us. And now they have no choice but to believe you, eh? My group at Area 51 performed the first open-air test of the virus. Oh? We used monkeys, but Page's people could have cared less how many monkeys we killed. That's not surprising considering Bob Page. Most of the real research happened in secret labs underground on civilians who had been accidentally exposed. How so, accidentally? There weren't any accidents. Our test site was chosen specifically so that the spores would drift across a highway. Oh dear. Be careful. I will be. Now the main problem here is not that sniper there because that sniper is dead. It's the robots over here. There are two really nasty robots there and there's another robot there. And we can see two MJ-12 soldiers here that we can take out from a distance. And neither of them notices that the other is dead, which is very useful for us. Unfortunately, these robots don't notice either. Now, we can decide to go in by using these windows in the ceiling, but we're not going to. Instead, we're going to see if we can take out some more troopers, and we might as well check out what these uh, people had. You had nothing, you had an assault rifle, and what about you? Ooh, you had a sort of shotgun. Excellent, I could do with more ammo. What about over here? Aha! Normally, when I get to this point in the game, I don't have the ability to take out these people easily. But I do now. I need to, oh, I need to take you out really carefully because you have a sniper rifle. And you could take me out in a few hits. There you are. You've lost sight of me, which is brilliant. You're gone. Now we could decide to jump down here using these various bits that are sticking out of the building. I'm not going to though. I'm going to use the more mundane method of entry. This way. Now you can hear a camera. That is because there's a camera down there. You can actually see the slight glow in the floor. There it is. And there's a turret there too. You need to watch out for that. Gonna wait for that to uh, turn away. Quickly open this. And because we're in this interface, the alarm won't go off, which is brilliant. Run X51 secure net here. Turn this off. Enemies and off. That being there is very important. Also, I heard someone moving there. But fortunately, nothing happened. We need to be very careful, as through that door are two MJ-12 troopers. Also, I should probably say, we've got quite far, and the last thing I want to have happen is for me to lose all that progress. Now, we can be quite sneaky. We can go up here and find out what's in here. Ooh, ammunition. Don't need it, but it's useful. Hello, you two. Oh, you can see me. You know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to deal with you. And deal with that as well. Did I get both of you? Oh, well, there's that turret there I also need to deal with, but I can do that. Brilliant. A little bit of healing. And we're 
good as new. I think I got rid of both of them. Yep, they're both gone. I could have avoided them by, say, being invisible and sneaking over here, but I chose not to. The alarm will eventually stop. Now, if you decide to sneak, you get over to here. Whereupon... He could be anywhere. That he could. Oh, you're not dead, are you? Well, you will be in a moment. There we go. You can press that reset button and the elevator will go down. But I'm not going to do that. I am going to look at these, however. What's in here? 10mm ammo and 10mm ammo. Will this actually... There we go. And we want to go... Hmm, do we want to go... We're on floor... I think we're on floor 3 already. Let's go to floor 2, shall we? We don't want to go all the way down just yet. Want to be very... Oh, hello. Don't want those to blow up. Those lead to the control center. Hmm. Oh. Someone noticed us. Were you up there or downstairs? You were probably downstairs and I was standing at an unfortunate angle. Let's reload. Be very careful. Okay, we can't see anyone there. You have nothing. Good. We're going to save again, because if memory serves, there's someone around this corner. He can disappear when he wants to, eh? Ooh. There are some dangerous people here indeed. Oh, son of a... Hello. Remember the uh oh. Get this active. And deal with you. Then you. Fire here. Yes, you are. And you're going to be taking fire in a moment too. And a few more shots. You're gone. And you're gone too. Brilliant. I could be anywhere indeed. That was a bit messy, but we dealt with it. Oh, hello. You're gone too. Pen. What are you doing here? How did you survive the explosion at... What do you mean you knew I was coming here at... Ben, explain yourself. What's going on? How do you get to all the places that I'm heading to so easily? Yes, I... Do I trust you? I... I'm not so sure anymore, but you were even at the chateau. How did you... You remember the Illuminati? You've been with the Illuminati the entire time? Spying on me? Ben, I, I don't know what to think. All this time, I, I thought I knew you. I know, I know, you're, you're on the same side as me, but, but are you? All this time, you, you could have told me, Ben. You trust me, right? You say you trust me, but I'm not sure you mean it anymore. Yes, we're on the same side, I know, but you could have told me. I would have understood. Actually, would I have understood to begin with? Probably not, but... I need to think about this, Ben. I need to think about this. We'll talk later, okay? I promise. Be careful. Let's check what... Ooh, you've got lots of stuff. You even have an EMP grenade. Over here, they got some ammo. And some ballistic armor. We don't need either of them. And as for what you've got... There's a sniper rifle here, and I think that's everything. There were some sofas here, and there was somebody that we could talk to here too. I don't know if they're still around or if they exploded. They might very well not be here anymore. Anyone here? Ah, you are fine. Good. You managed to get away. Now this is one of the uh, things that we need to use. Code 5868. Five, eight, six, eight. One down. That's one switch. Now find the other. Brilliant. One to go. Also, there's this here. 100 points for accomplishment and 50 for exploration, where we find the HasLab storage key. That's going to be useful. There are also some useful things in here that we now have access to. Now let us take this bioelectric cell have a conversation with you. Are you okay? I 
Are you going to speak to me at all? You might not, considering what happened. Ah well, hopefully you didn't have any important information. Now can we open this? No, it's locked. We don't have the key for that. We need to be very careful about this area ahead. Also, you may notice there's some TNT here. We could have moved that over to where the uh, Man in Black and the MJ-12 troopers were that were down here, and blown them up sneakily with a shot with a sniper rifle, but we didn't get that opportunity. Not that we needed it, though I would have preferred to have done so, because that was a bit messy. Right, we can set this to allies, and we can, s we can set this to uh, allies as well. Well, my allies. Not that I really have many right now. This room is quiet. It's all very quiet. Also, we need to watch out because there are some commandos right by the front door. And if we wanted to, we could sneak around using these, getting to places that we otherwise wouldn't be able to get to. And when we come back, folks, there's a lot of the Vandenberg base left to explore. And we need to be careful, because there are lots of enemies about. Lots of very, very dangerous enemies. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.